What's up everybody and welcome back to Studio Reef. Today we're gonna do a light build. It's gonna be a LED light from an order that I placed on rapidled.com. Also, we're gonna go shopping. I'm gonna show you a different way you can build a light fixture. And as you can see on my light here, it's more blue on the left than I have on the right. So we're gonna fix that and uh, hopefully it's gonna come out real well. So thanks for tuning in my new channel guys. And yeah, let's go shopping for some DIY stuff. Alright, so now that we have a heatsink and we have some soldering equipment, it's time to move over to the unboxing of the LED order that I just received. First I have a two part glue and I have the white and the blue LEDs, six of each. I have my driver and of course that's European certified and here I have my 12 lenses. I have the 80 degrees for the blues and the 65 degrees for the white. So heading over to my workstation here, I like to just lay everything out, make sure I have everything, I didn't forget anything, here's my wires and such. Also I got some super glue, that's also the gel type I can use for corals if I like. Anyway, next up is where I put my two shins on top of each other, I take the measurements and I mark them out where I want my LEDs to sit. And what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, pre-soldering the LEDs. I find it more easy to do it before than after mounting it. Also it gives you a chance to check if they're okay and uh, that's what I'm gonna do next and to do that you're gonna need uh, some kind of uh, LED checker. It usually comes free but I built my own here from two wires in the remote control and uh, yeah it works pretty well as you can see. Let's take this off a bit. So, check all of them. Make sure you didn't burn anything when you soldered them. And uh, if everything's okay, you can continue the build. Alright, so now comes to the gluing. What I've done is I've taken the LEDs off. I'm mixing in two-part glue, like exactly 50-50. What you can do is you can go check out Ricketts Reef. He explains it a lot better than I do. Anyway. Alright, so I have all the wires in place and I didn't want to bore you with that so that's just basically going from minus to plus, minus to plus and then you have a minus in one end and a plus in the other end and then you connect that to the driver and if you've done a good job it's going to work, hopefully, unless you've put in too many LEDs or did something wrong but in my case I already bought the kit predetermined so here we go. So now that it works, it's time to figure out how hot this thing actually gets. So I'm going to leave it like this for uh, two hours at this point and try and pick it up like so. You know, just feel the heat sink and see how hot it is. Am I going to be able to start a fire with this thing or is it safe to put in your reef tank? Especially if you have a wooden canopy like I have. Uh, you definitely need this testing before you move on to the next step. So 
what I've done here is I've screwed the driver onto the stand and put away all the cables in the back. I've kind of tucked them in and used some zip ties to get rid of it. What I'd like to do is uh, start from the top of the canopy and just work my way down and make everything look good. So there you have it guys, that's one way you can build a LED light fixture by doing it yourself and save a lot of money. Now let's try and compare to see the color difference from before and after. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye bye.